Hello guys, my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and today I am here with a good friend of mine his name is Chip. Chip is a bit shy so he won't talk much but that is okay because today we got a lot of things to do. So let's get rolling. Today we are going to make 5 secret things that nobody knows how to make so get ready to take notes people these tips and tricks are awesome so yay let's get right down to business shall we. Oh wait before we continue I need to give the credits first and those go to the mastermind himself Chip yes people Chip has discovered these tricks so now I am going to show you the first trick alright I call this the modern table because yay it just looks a bit futuristic and oh yay I have got a great idea let me also build a house around it so we can use the tricks in an around the house yes people y'all boy sub coming up with great ideas a but this house is going to be a man cave no girls will be allowed not that I hate them but the last time a girl was in my house things went south we got in a fight well it was my girlfriend I will keep giving her these stylish overpriced things because well she is looking like she enjoys all of those things and also if I don't give her all these accessories then she is going to be mad and if she is mad she can be really freaking annoying trust me she is one of the most annoying girls I know when she does not get what she wants but I think that I know how late it is no it is not pizza time but it is time to show her my cool whip and basically whip is a car but then it sounds a lot cooler because car is just a regular word and if you say to people like Hey I got a new car they are like oh nice and if you say to people like hey I got a brand new whip come check it out they're like oh my god that is totally amazing and I want to see it could you send me some pictures and to those people I say of course you can have some pictures of my car I totally enjoy my car and it looks really cool and expensive so people are going to respect me for that but I am not really sure how this car is flying but I do know that when I go to the gas station I sometimes put in the wrong kind of gas and I think last time I put in petrol and petrol is that thing that airplanes fly on at least that is what I think if I am wrong then I am wrong but at least I tried and that is what matters most doesn't it but let's just sit back and relax from this amazing weather also what do you guys think of the new map layout that this map got does it not look totally cool like it is now like a vacation paradise something look alike and it even has hot air balloons which we are going to check out in a minute but yeah I think this island got a whole of a lot better with this Hawaii look that it got and I think if I had the money and time then I would go to this island because it just looks something straight out of paradise but let's head for one of these hot air balloons which I was talking about that everyone seems to enjoy so much like I enjoy this table did you see prankster how I made this table alright good because this one is done let's start with the next one shall we Next up we are going to make a table with sticks on it not really special but it is a trick that nobody knows so just watch it take notes and enjoy people enjoyment is the most important thing in this video alright there is something missing I think wait I know the thing what I could use at this moment is maybe some stairs or something so I can go up and down from my house since I am living on a really high rock and would you look at that we already have it in our inventories and now it is just really amazing and we can just keep going and we now have a start of our staircase and that is just the beginning of it all but it is going to be really amazing if I have to be honest but just look at this color combination of the stairs that come from far away and I have wished for them and they arrived in their purple glory and our main blocks are orange does this not look really amazing well I guess I could wish for some carpets in a minute or so maybe if I don't forget about that but that would also be amazing yeah but for right now we are able to manage so I guess that I am alright but that would just be really amazing for the future of this place and I truly believe that this place is going to be one of those temples that are in really cool spots like this temple would just be on this amazing mountain no I need to stop daydreaming this is not a temple sub this is just a house that has been made out of wishes well it isn't really a house since it isn't really furnished or something but I guess that will come in all of that so that is just alright but if we want to go down then we need to place water and stuff so that is what I am doing now if you were asking yourself what sub was doing I am making something so I can jump off without breaking my bones because that w-o-u-l-d-n really be nice would it no but if we could jump into a relaxing nice cold pool after a hot day of labor then that would just be really amazing but I do think that my house is really amazing up here it looks a bit dreamy it might be because I am dreaming I am not sure 
I am also not sure how I should find out since if I am dreaming I would just wake up randomly, I am not sure but I guess we are just going to find out about all of that, but no it is a lot of funnier and I am amusing myself just fine with my wishes and all of that, I could use some kind of light and all of that, so I am really lucky I got that, but I kind of also want to wish for a roof since my house doesn't really have a roof and it would be nice to have a place where I could potentially sleep and just live and all that and since there is no roof it isn't a real shelter. But I also need to be really careful with all of this snow that is on my paths and all of that since I don't want to slip because that would be really dangerous for me. But I kind of wish to sleep, and that is really fortunate. Because see before I even wished for a bed the universe knew I was going to wish for a bed and a nice warm and cozy bed was already prepared for me so that is just really fantastic that it works like that and I am really happy right now because everything is just working out the way I want it to. And hey, what do we have here? Some quartz slabs that could be used to make a really cool roof. And you all know my alter ego sub the thatcher and yeah i am really amazing at making roofs just give me a random block and a really ugly house so basically just what we have right now and then i place a roof on that house and then the house instantly looks way better and then it is just really fantastic because how did he do that well no one is sure how he does it but he just does it and that is just amazing isn't it but i really think that the roof looks clean from the inside so i am really proud of myself that i have done this but since I can't really wish just for everything you sometimes have to provide for yourself and you just need to take some stuff from your inventory, like a chest, a crafting table and of course also a furnace and then it is just really amazing because then your house is furnished and then it is just really amazing and all of that so that is just what you want to have. A nice furnished house isn't it? Well I believe that it works like that and it is just really amazing that something like that can just work with a bit of furnishing. You might be thinking to yourself, why does Sub care so much about furniture? Well my friend, that is because the furnishing makes the house, and if the house has been made then the house is really cozy and then you have an amazing house, not with sponges because you can't do anything with some wet sponge, so I wish I would have some carpet and would you look at that. I am climbing the stairs and in my doorstep, there is just some carpet lying there, Wait how does this work? This is just amazing, and we even have some green carpet and we also have some really cool pink carpet and the mix just looks really amazing, it is kind of a really random mix that we have going to on side this house. But that doesn't really matter since it just looks really great. But I really think that my house looks amazing like this, and I have some wet sponge jumping board and we have a lot of carpet so now if it snows really hard then it doesn't pick up on the ground near us and then we would just have some nice and warm carpet and then life is going to be really good since some of the people who haven't wished for carpet are just going to walk with their bare feet through the snow which is going to be really cold you know what also is really cold wait let me explain you know these minecraft chocks where you can sit on well those are really cold to what you need are some pillows yes and right now i am showing you how to make them so use them to not get killed by freezing to death all right really nice tip of y'all boy sub making pillows that is what we need to do more in the world of minecraft it is so easy even a baby can do it. It is like like stealing candy from a baby, which you should never do by the way. Have you seen that movie Baby Boss? Oh no wait it's the other way around. Boss Baby. That baby is not a baby and if you would steal candy from that baby then he will sue your booty. And it will not be fun in court to explain to the judge that you are such a coward that you stole candy from a baby. But I kind of made his head shape or something. But that is okay. The shield has hair. But his head will look good in a couple of minutes. I don't have anything to fix this but that will be all alright by the end of the drawing. Don't you worry. Don't you worry child. There's a special thing for you. No I don't know what they are trying to sing in that song. Excuse me for that one. But let's continue doing the one eye and brow technique that seem to work two times in a row and you know what they say guys, third time's a charm, so this one is going to be a charm just like he is a prince charming with the ladies, that might just come because he has such great eyebrows, I am really jealous of his eyebrows, but you can have everything in life so that is okay I guess, but now it is the time of the drawing again, yep you guessed it it is nosing time, but don't worry I got this, once again, Third time is a charm so this will be good. Wait hold up no this is kind of wrong. 
but this has potential. Don't fear Leonardo da Vinci is here and he will fix your nose like it has never been broken before. So now it is time for the eyebrow first because I can't seem to draw the nose while the other eyebrow and eye are not there. It is just not right like that. So, let's make that a new eye and then we can maybe continue making the nose and he will feel like he never felt before and all will be good in the end and me and Sketch will have very much fun with his nose that I did not draw accurately. But not everything can be accurate in life so sometimes you have to take risks and stuff and that is what gives life a good fulfilling reason. But it won't take long until I am done once again with a new masterwork here live on this video. Look at this guy, I am even contouring his cheeks. He is a cheeky guy so his cheeks have to pop the inexperienced I might think that his cheek is overdone but just wait until I process this painting it will look great no worries but it is coming along nicely and I think the time has come near to press the process button right after I am done painting his neck is that his neck or does it more look like a t-shirt well anyways it looks good so let's process this man and oh my he looks like Steve Yoon I don't know why but he reminds me of Glenn from The Walking Dead and in real life he is called Steve Yoon. Well the cheeky technique did work a bit though. Only just his middle part of the forehead was not good. But it is once again time to move on from the one to the other friend. And now it is time for my good friend Fletch. And Fletch is a remarkable handsome young man. So we have to draw him like a remarkable handsome young man. His neck looks just like this so this will be alright. He has kind of the shaped head. Well not exactly but kind of. And he has these hairs on his head that he is proud of. It looks good Fletch. Your hair is on fleek. I am still not sure what people mean by fleek but that is okay. But this is coming along nicely and his teeth are easy to make. Some of the great even called me a teeth expert so I know what I am doing but no on a serious note his face looks great. He is a handsome young man. I am proud of you my man. But do you guys notice these input and output letters that are on top of the boxes? Well a famous saying by John Wayne is what you sow is what you harvest. And if you guys would like to know what that means. Well it basically means that how much time and effort you put into something is what you get out of it. And I am trying really hard for my friend Fletch right here, and I think that he looks better on this drawing than in real life. But we are going to see if John Wayne was right. Well he was definitely not wrong I have to give the man that. But the painting looks a bit odd, but that is okay some things just need to look odd to become art. Just like Picasso he had some screwed up paintings. But now it is time for Coral. And Coral is a really cool dude. And I am going to draw him the best I can. And I have a very crazy drawing style so don't worry about the input because all you need to wait on is the output. And that is what will happen then you are going to do that. His faces look a bit like an onion but who says that onions are not attractive. But it is time for this one to process. And just look at that handsome man in the space. He is like a more magnificent moon. Alright so people everything is done the campfire is lit yes very let's see what I did they're really savage next to that we the purple thing don't really have name for it so let's call it Charlie well Charlie is very beautiful everything is done now so we can end the video now I guess oh no wait I forgot something the house isn't done we still need to make a roof people I need to work fast really fast you know what would be cool some balloons that would let us fly the house make some fences so the balloons have something to hold on to and now it is time that we upgrade this puppy to the next level since the balloon needs to look really great as well. It can just be a really nice floating house with an ugly balloon, can it? No I don't believe so because we need to have a whole lot of cool stuff on this deck and the balloon is what is going to be really big and all of that so it would be quite amazing if the balloon was big and nice looking and not just big and ugly because I don't like ugly balloons I just want really nice balloons so that is what we are going to make. A really nice balloon and then everything is okay and all of that because if we have the balloon in place then the whole thing is able to fly and then we can go to anywhere that we want and it is just going to be super awesome. But we are kind of almost there with our fence structure and it is looking kind of really weird. But so, we are done with all of this then and now it is time to place the balloon on top of the structure and then I guess that it is going to be really cool. I don't know but these balloons look really cool so it is kind of okay. But we just have to follow the structure and then when we are done with that then we just put a bit of life in it I guess. 
so it really looks like a balloon and not just something that is there because it needs to be there, no it needs to be there and it needs to look good because we are sub-zero extabyte and that is what we do. But all of this fence stuff is just going to be some double protection so the balloon doesn't fall down and flatten us or something because if you just shoot an arrow at this balloon then the balloon will not like that and then it is going to die and then we are in the air and that wouldn't be nice. Would it? Well yay so the roof is done no balloons for us because yay that would never hold people never would it be able to stand the weight of the house. Everything is done now is it is getting time to end the video I know I don't want to go either but time is time right but don't you worry I will be back soon with more videos and more content and much more things that will surprise you while well, I think it will so for now prankster keep your head high keep running and don't let anyone stand in your way boi peel please.